welcome back to my channel. This is my continuation in our equation of the line. Okay? So, we are going to find an equation of the line given a slope and a point. Okay? So, what we are going to use is the point slope formula, which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay? So, shall we start? Let's have our example number one. Our m is equal to uh, 2, and then our point is 3, 4. Okay? So what we are going to do is to substitute the values. So y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Our x sub 1 here is this one. And this is our y sub 1. And this one is our m. So therefore, ang matitira lang ay yung variables na x and y. Okay? Because yon ang kailangan natin sa equation of the line. So, let's start. y minus y sub 1 is 4 is equal to our m is 2. Then times the quantity x minus x sub 1 is 3. Okay? Then, we multiply. y minus 4 is equal to 2x minus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Okay? Then, we transpose. 2x will become negative 2x then plus y is equal to negative 6. Negative 4 will become positive 4. Okay, so pinagsabay na natin ang pagtranspose. Nilipat natin si 2x dito sa left side, na bago ang sign. Then yung negative 4, nilipat sa kabilang side, sa right side, na bago ang sign. Kaya, ito na yung nangyari. So this will become negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So this is now in standard form. Okay? Pero, kung gusto natin na ilagay sa slope-intercept form of equation, this is y is equal to 2x minus 2. Okay? Whatever, kung ano ang uh, gusto ng teacher in standard form ba or in slope-intercept form, pwede nating gawin. Okay? This is our second example. M is equal to negative 3 and our point is negative 1, negative 3. Okay? So, they are all negative. Paano kaya natin ito isosolve? Okay? So, let's try substituting. Y minus, what is our Y sub 1? This is our Y sub 1. So, iba yung minus sa negative ng negative 3. Okay? Then, equals our m or slope is negative 3. Then, times x minus. Ano yung x sub 1? Negative 1. Okay? So, iba rin yung minus sa negative 1. Okay? So, this will become y plus 3 is equal to negative 3 times x plus 1. Okay? Then, we multiply. Y plus 3 muna. Then, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Then, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Okay? So, we substitute. How we transpose pala, sorry. Transpose. So, negative 3x will become 3x plus y is equal to negative 3 Positive 3 will become negative 3. So, this will become 3x plus y is equal to negative 6. So, what will be our in uh, standard form? 3x plus y is equal to negative 6. E ang slope-intercept form, magiging y is equal to negative 3x minus 6. Okay, so this time, this is our third example Medyo may konting kahirapan, pero pipilitin nating maging madali. Okay? Kasi fraction ang slope. So, upisan na natin. 
So, y minus y sub 1 is negative 8. Then, equals to 2 fifth times x minus 1. Okay, so na-substitute na natin. So, gawin muna natin to y plus 8 is equal to 2 fifth times x minus 1. Now, para malinis natin yung denominator matanggal natin, ang gagawin natin is to multiply both sides of the equation. Pero, be very careful ha. Dapat, ito lang ang imumultiply natin sa 5. Okay? Hindi kasama ito. Okay? So, ito imumultiply din natin sa 5. The whole equation. Okay? This will become... Ito, this is 5. Ito, mumultiply natin sa 5. Ulitin natin yung pagkakagawa. So, this will become y plus 8 times 5 equals to 5 times 2 fifth. Then, x minus 1. Okay? So, ayusin natin, burahin. Para malinaw. So, this is 2 fifth. Okay? Then, this will become 5y plus 40 is equal to, we cancel 5, so this will become 2. Then, times x minus 1. Then, 5y plus 40 is equal to 2x minus 2. Okay? Then, what will be our... Uh, standard form of equation. Ililipat na natin yung negative 2x dito sa left side. So, this will become negative 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 2 minus 40. Okay? Yung 40 na positive magiging negative 40. So, this will become negative 2x plus 5y is equal to negative 42. Okay? So, that is our standard form of equation. Ang slope-intercept form of equation will become 5y is equal to 2x minus 42. Okay? Pero hindi iyan yung slope-intercept dahil may 5 to. Dapat i-divide by both sides by both sides of the equation. This will become y is equal to 2 fifth x minus 42 over 5. Ayan, natapos na naman natin ang isang topic. So, yung susunod na video, yung third uh, topic about finding the equation of the line, finding an equation of the line given two points na. Okay? So, susunod na video na yon. I hope may natutunan kayo sa aking mga video lessons at sana mag-subscribe kayo sa aking channel para ma-update kayo sa mga susunod na video lessons ko. Magkita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na video lesson ko. Bye for now!